Far in East Asia lies the Japanese archipelago. Most Japanese are predominantly East Asian from the Yaoi migration of Chinese and Korean-like farmers. They came there through the Korean Peninsula. There is, however, another known component to the Japanese people, known as the Joma. They are thought to have reached Japan around 40,000 years ago, and their imprint on modern Japanese ranges from 10 to 20 percent. Here is a comparison of the Joman and the Yaoyun. DNA evidence puts the Joman as an ancient Upper Paleolithic East Eurasian population. They appear to have split from other East Asians around 40,000 years ago. According to studies, they appear to be basal to all other East Asians. In one Japanese study, a 3,000-year-old Joman exhibited pre-East Asian traits such as high alcohol tolerance, thin hair, and moderately dark skin tone, as well as less pronounced shovel-shaped incisors and wet earwax. All of these traits are uncommon in modern East Asians. Another interesting facet that came up in this study was that when using three populations in Bute African Han Chinese, and Sardinian West Eurasians, the results showed a 14% Sardinian imprint in the Jonan genome, along with the 86% Han Chinese. This is particularly intriguing because of the argued pseudo-Caucasoid looks of some of the Japanese today, and especially among the natives of the northern prefecture, known as the Ainu. Furthermore, the Japanese have a haplogroup C1A1, which is a descendant of basal C1A found in the Upper Paleolithic populations in Europe, known as Cro-Magnons. They had a larger build than Europeans today and rectangular eye sockets similar to that of the Ainu in Japan. The Cro-Magnon culture, known as the Orgnassian culture, they created advanced artworks in the caves of Chevet that showed art and movement, animals and movement, over 38,000 years ago. They also created artwork with sculptures of fertility goddesses, a cave lion, and very early ceramic use. cro DNA is still found in the form of their predecessors, Western hunter-gatherers, Eurasian DNA today. The eight E R C2 variation for blue eyes first appears around 14,000 years ago in Italy and the Caucasus. And this is important because Japanese scientist Mitsuru Sakatani said that C1A1's ancestral type reached Japan over the Korean Peninsula via the Altai Mountains from Western Asia. And although its age of arrival is unknown, the spread of the existing subgroup is about 12,000 years ago which is almost consistent with the start of the Joman period. That is, haplogroup C1A1 may be a group that brought the Joman culture to Japan. C1A1 is estimated to be a common haplogroup among the Joman people at around 30%. An interesting study from Tokyo Medical University found polyamovirus, which is passed from mother to child, presented in certain areas of Japan notably in northern places like Amari, Akita, Miyagi, Yamagata, and others. And it's interesting because that virus is usually only found in Caucasian populations. And it has been said in Sugaru area, you find more blue-eyed folks. Akita and Awate are also known to have some blue and green-eyed Japanese people. Some I knew of Japan are known to have light colored eyes, such as light brown, blue, green, or hazel, as well as light colored hair, such as light brown, shades of medium brown, and even red. And these traits are not typically associated with modern East Asians today. It would appear it is possible that a West Asian source has brought these mutations. Some Japanese and Joman have a bit of a South Asian phenotype. And according to the DNA calculator GEDmatch, it has shown over 18% uh, DNA component comprised of South Asian DNA in a Joman um, sample. A proposed link 
of Dravidian to Korean and Japonic languages, and this is due to a high incidence of similarities among them. Dravidians themselves are a mix of Australian hunter-gatherer and a dark Caucasian sub-race from the Zagros Mountains near Iran who came to India around 10,000 years ago. And these are the creators of the ancient Indus Valley civilization, and they were known to have vast trade networks. One possible connection left in the artwork of the Upper Paleolithic Europeans and the ancient Japanese, these fertility goddesses having similar structure and build across vast distances. These in Upper Paleolithic Europe range from 40 to 30 to 20,000 years ago, and these in Japan are at least over 7,000 years ago, according to Dayton. Megalithic sites in Japan. It would appear from D not only DNA evidence, proposed scholarly links, strange mutations of hair color and eye color that the Japanese are actually descendants of a few waves of migrations from different corners of the world such as South Asian, Western Eurasian and of course the majority of the DNA is East Asian Yaoyue populations. If you would like more history, mythology, and all around wonder, give us a like, a share, and a subscribe. Thank you.